Hello everyone, so it's me once again. So today we're going to try the third robot here. It hasn't got a name, but I think this one actually can transform almost into this stage of robot, uh, but same elements of an RC control functioning. So I'm really excited to try this out. For this, you just need these components. These are really dead simple. I can already tell that it's going to be a quick turnaround. So let's get on with it, shall we? Alrighty, so that's how cool it looks like. Look at that camera. This could actually be angled for your own preference, but I'm not sure how it works. That's the wheel. So they're both two-way motors on each legs. So this could be transformed like this and that. And that's how it looks like overall. Moment of truth is on. You got, let's rotate it, shall we? Transforming car. Here it is. Okay. So body is back again. That's how it looks like. So no error message. That means that I have actually seamlessly assembled it, which was quite challenging on this, this side. And I, I'm not really happy with these wires dangling actually. So um, we'll find out if it actually interrupts, but let's actually say hello to our little buddy first. Hello, little buddy. <laughs> he likes it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's more expressive because it's like both legs moving. Let's see if we could get different reaction as well. <laughs> it's laughing. <laughs> so just to get you guys a better view of the actual expression. So you can see that um, he's really happy that you're tickling him. Just a bit more. Is there anything else? <laughs> All right, I love that. It's like a heart expression. Because if you keep entertaining it. Okay, what if I actually do that? I heard a cat purring sound early on. Cool. It's more expressive, isn't it? It's really cool. <laughs> That's another different laughing expression. Cool, look at that. I just love this robot. You actually hold it, it's a really firm sort of robot. Look at that. Oh, I didn't know that. So it's a self-balancing system, isn't it? Because of the sensor it has. So it depends on where you're moving it. Wow, so if I were to leave it like that, we'll go back to normal. Well, actually it does it, oh. oh, I see it wasn't a purr, it was actually getting angry because I was annoying it. Anyhow, that is really cool. Let's try that again, shall we? So we're connected to the app and we got the joystick here and answering call or conference call, um, record video, take photos, AI. And this is quite interesting. This is a transform button, okay? So if I do this, you can see the legs going down, spreading to the lowest point. And if you press up, it actually goes up again. So at the same time, you can actually move. So again, going up and down. I think that's the lowest point up again three four five so i think there's like five different stages yeah you can hear that sound five times in it one again one two three four five okay so at the same time if you were to lift it up it's actually balancing as well with all the ai capability but if you actually leave it down it will go back to the normal stage but again three four four five so that's the top version again if i were to let's say try to lift it up it's 
wow it's really aggressive and it's squeezing my finger okay so that's very aggressive but again it goes back to the original mode all right so what i have noticed is that um once you're in the transformation mode okay you can only go front and back for some reason okay you cannot um move left or right okay it's only going forward and backwards okay so i'll show you in a more detail here forward and backwards no left or right okay but if you actually come out of the transformation uh, button you will automatically get another sort of rotation button okay so that's when you can actually move it around and go forward so this is just basically going forward and backwards and this is for purely for rotation so let me show you some maneuvering skills here so it's like that's quite cool, isn't it? <laughs> very quick and very cool. Going circles. <laughs> Love that. And then if we were to uh, basically transform, going back to the transformation mode, let's go to the lowest point, shall we? Let's see how quick it is. And then come out of the transformation. That is also very cool indeed as well, isn't it? Ah, oh, that's weird. Wow, what happened just there? I think it's mainly because of the wires. It's actually... Wow. Please note this is not a flat um, flooring, it's actually cushioning. Maybe that's why it's actually vibrating a bit. But if you were to go back again, that's how it goes. Okay, cool also like maneuvering as well like so every time when it actually rotates while you move that's when it goes up i think it's just the way how it's designed that's really cool isn't it <laughs> and then like that so going forward and backwards So that's very cool. So every time you rotate again, it goes up. And then if you just go forward and backwards, that's how you do it. Not really sure why it's designed that way, but then again, I don't mind at all. Right, on the ULAP, gladly, there is an extra function we got here, which is the rock, paper, scissors game. So it's this robot that I'll be able to play it. So let's actually have a close look, shall we? Okay. Wow. That is really cool. Okay, I think the camera is supposed to be projecting upwards. All right, so I downloaded that um, app or program. So you go to the uh, program list and then you just need to choose that, okay? Then, so what I've done is that because the camera, original way of building it is going downwards, I actually rotate it. So hopefully it'll work. Now the way how it detects it is really cool. It's these sort of examples, okay? That's how it recognizes it. So let's get on with the game, shall we? Ah, well done, okay. Rock. We are even. No, we're not. Come on. Rock, paper, scissors. Scissor. We are even. Play again. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors. Paper. paper. We are even. Yes, well done. Rock, paper, scissors. Scissor. Ah, oh, well done. Rock. I didn't. Oh, it just needs... Okay. But that's really cool. So actually, uh, you can play around, but I think it still needs a bit more accuracy on it, or maybe I haven't actually done it properly. I don't want to blame anyone, but there's still a function of this. That's quite cool though, isn't it? So let's actually lift it up again. 
So you can see that this self-balancing technology is really cool. But what if I actually do that? Oh, it kind of stopped if you actually place it upside down. Oh, we've got a message here. What does it say? Placed properly. I think it means place it properly. So let's actually press that again. Ah, okay. Welcome back. I'm sorry I teased you. I think so far this third robot that I assembled is the coolest so far because not only it transforms, it could actually interact with you as well and the expression is more humane, should we say, um, because of more motors actually attached to it. And I especially like the potential of rock scissor papers, but I think there needs to be an improvement. Maybe it was the camera, the way how I said it was wrong but it just kind of encourages you to do programming um, and coding and so on. So it's a very good educational, motivational robot so far, isn't it? So that's pretty much it, people. Um, I hope you enjoyed my third video of this transforming robots with wheels. And um, I would look forward to share with you the fourth robot that will come along pretty soon. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.